Hey guys, welcome to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today we're going to talk about the Sassan Denali. So I had an opportunity to check out this airplane at Oshkosh 2018, which was a few months ago. And honestly, at first glance, the Denali is it's a PC-12, all right? The cabin, uh, the exterior, there's little stuff here and there, but when you look at just about everything packaged together, this is basically a PC-12, a Pilatus PC-12. But there are some really cool stuff about the Denali that I don't want us to just skip over. So let's start. When you compare this to now, Cessna is introducing this airplane uh, to compete, obviously with the Pilatus, uh, the Piper M600 is there, um, TBM series are there. This is a single engine turboprop airplane that can be used for business purposes, but also by, you know, solo pilots and owners uh, for all kinds of stuff. But let's look at the numbers. And I, I want to take uh, I want to compare the Denali more specifically to the Pilatus PC-12 because I think uh, these are the two main ones uh, that go head to head. When you look at the stat sheet, which I have right here, when you look at the stat sheet on the Denali, it's, it's almost the same with the PC-12, except you have hit or miss in some place. So take the cruise speed, for example. Uh, Denali will cruise at maximum 285 uh, knots. That's identical to the PC-12. Um, your range is almost the same, although I think the range on the PC-12 is a little bit more. PC-12, you're looking at a little over uh, 1,800 nautical miles if you have up to four people, I think. Uh, and then with the Denali, uh, you're looking at 1,600 nautical miles with four people on board. Similar engine, although the Denali is using a newer engine. And uh, the cabin, when you look at the cabin of the Cessna, I think is also identical to the PC-12, just as spacious, and also you can fit up to 11 people in the in the Denali, uh, which is good, all right? Uh, and I believe with the PC-12 also, you're looking at eight to 12 uh, that that airplane can carry. Um, cool stuff about the Denali though, there's a bathroom on board, if you want that, I'm sure that would be an option. Um, and also the back door. So something that's very common with these airplanes, the single engine turbo props, you have a nice big uh, door in the back if you wanted to load up either passenger or mostly just like heavy items. And if you know the Pilatus PC-12, it's well known for carrying all kinds of things, okay? Uh, this airplane serves a lot of really cool missions. Now, again, the Denali is coming up as a direct competition. Uh, the Denali is priced at 4.8 million right now. PC-12, you're looking at $5 million. So to me, they're roughly about the same. You're looking at 5 million for either of these airplanes. Um, the Cessna Denali is certified to up to 31,000 feet as the flight ceiling. It's a tidbit more than the PC-12. It is a pressurized cabin, which allows for a much more comfortable and quiet ride. Now, the expected first flight for the Denali is sometime next year. And then post that, we'll probably get a date for when the actual production airplane uh, will be in the market. It's probably gonna be a few years down the line. I think there's definitely a nice market for the Cessna Denali. But again, going head to head with the king of turboprop, single engine turboprop, in my opinion, which is the PC-12, would be tough. But the market would determine that in the future. And that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Okay, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If this is your first time, be sure to subscribe. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.